Hello everyone, welcome to the page. I'm the ukulele vagabond. I'm a musician and performer with seven years of experience with the instrument and I'm here to create a different type of ukulele tuition and I'm here to try and inspire a new type of creative flair for ukulele players. So I wanna to talk to you guys, not just about how to play the ukulele. I also do tutorials on how to play the ukulele, uh, but I also want to coach you guys through the experience of developing as musicians. I'm on my second album at the moment, recently released. It's called Ukulectic, that's eclectic ukulele ukulele music um, and so I want to share with you guys some production tips so the format of this video is going to be as follows I'm going to start by talking about EQ and compression um, and I'm then going to show you guys the settings that I use when I mix the ukulele the, the EQ and compression settings that I use when I mix the ukulele and I'm going to, going to then talk about why I use those settings and I'm then going to make sure that I explain to a wider audience of beginners uh, what information they can take from this and what function utility um, information about uh, EQ and compression has for the way that they uh, cr use the instrument from the very beginning. It's quite confusing um, and there's going to be a lot of science at the beginning but then I'm going to try and make that information as accessible to everybody as possible and I'm going to give generalized advice about how you can imagine a future for your music um, using some of the information that I'm going to give you in this video. System is collapsing and we'll show you a new way Some days are working hard and got the world on our shoulders We need someone for comfort like a lover to hold us Lightheartedness evaporates, resentfulness smoulders While well, the services are cut to boost profits for shareholders When you meet someone who's vulnerable, reach out cause they may need it We haven't had the same life even if you think you have conceded So for starters, let's discuss EQ and compression. So first of all, let me explain to you what EQ and compression are. We're gonna start with EQ, and then I'm gonna show the settings that I use uh, for the ukulele, and then I'm gonna explain it to the wider audience. So EQ, essentially, is a setting that we use to manipulate the frequencies of different um, musical instruments and the overall, the master track at the end to make them sound good. What does that mean? So let me explain that to you guys. Um, tap the table next to you. Now, you probably, if you really, 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 really listen to that sound, the sound that comes off when you tap something, you can probably hear several things. Um, if it's a bit of wood, you can probably hear like a tap, like a higher sound, a higher tap, and you can probably hear a lower clock. Um, so I know this sounds a little bit ridiculous, um, but it's the best way that I can think of of describing it. That is because every single sound that we hear has both high frequencies that come off it lower mid more mid frequencies so mid-range frequencies that come off it and lower frequencies and this is true of musical instruments as well as other things now i know for people who have never heard about eq before this is probably going to be a bit baffling because we think about the sounds that we hear as either, either being completely high completely mid-range or low sounds and everything like that but no it's more complicated than that in actual fact uh, when we hear a sound and we think of it as a high sound it's because the majority of the frequencies that come off that sound are high sounds but there are other frequencies in there so eq is a setting that we use that man manipulates the different frequencies and makes them fit into a wider mosaic of music better uh, so let me explain that better for the complete beginners now automatically when you create music or when you start a band or do something like that you pick musical instruments that are in the lower frequencies don't you you have kick drums for example low sound you have basses which are low sounds you have guitars which are about mid frequency and stuff like that you have a little bit further up you have maybe keys and then on top you have the humble ukulele so we automatically choose musical instruments uh, when we're building a song um, which which, which have the majority of their frequencies at different levels. So when we use EQ, all we're doing is we're manipulating the frequencies that come off individual musical instruments to make them fit into where they're meant to fit better. So stay with me guys, because I'm going to explain with you, I'm going to explain to you a little bit more how you can take this information forward and how you can start thinking about the music that you listen to a little bit differently to help your creative flair from the very beginning. So we're gonna go onto the computer now and I'm gonna to explain to you guys what EQ setting I use for the ukulele and why. So EQ looks like this and when we play a musical instrument, it does this. So do you remember what I was talking about before? So this is a visual representation of what the ukulele uh, frequencies look like when they come off the musical instrument. 
So the settings that I use for the ukulele are as follows. So I use a sharp cutoff like so. And I cut off everything which is beneath 60 hertz because the human ear can't really hear that and it muddies the sound. And then I boost the higher frequencies like so. So listen to it now. So it's now got a more of a crispness to it, to it. So let me show you what I mean by boosting those higher frequencies to, to make it have a brighter, brighter sound. Listen to the way that the ukulele sounds now. Now listen to this. Can you hear the change in the sound there? Can you hear the change in the crispness? So I hope that makes sense to you guys anyway. Um, if you need me to explain it a little bit more then leave a comment in the comment section. The other thing that I add as well is acoustic compression. So compression essentially does something with the volume. It squashes the, 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 the volume of the sound um, and it makes the, 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 the quieter sounds in the ukulele a little bit louder and it makes the louder sounds a little bit quieter, meaning and both those things essentially mean that the ukulele sits on top of the music and it fit, sits nicely in its frequency range. That's the best way that I can describe it to for complete beginners. Um, but you guys don't necessarily need to know this stuff right away and you don't need to understand this stuff completely right away. But what you do need to do is start thinking about what you value about music, what you like listening to when you listen to music. So for example, um, as, I've, as I just said, I like boosting the higher frequencies of the ukulele slightly because it makes the instrument sound brighter. So when you're listening to your favorite music in the next few weeks, what is it that I like about the sounds of different musical instruments? Um, so is it the warmth that certain musical instruments have? Is it um, the way that they that, that, that they sound, the way that they sit with other musical instruments? Um, maybe when a, an electric guitar solo comes uh, starts playing in your favorite rock and roll song or something like that, you like the way that it sounds kind of like shrill and powerful and cuts through and everything like that. Um, because what you're doing by listening to music and having a more analytical approach to listen to music is you're cultivating your own tastes, meaning that in the future, when you start um, producing music, you have a little bit more of an idea about what your tastes are and what your musical interests are and the way that you like music to sound. So we've talked about a lot in this episode and um, I hope it's not too overwhelming for you guys. Um, I don't intend it to be overwhelming. I don't intend to just show off my music either or my production skills or anything like that. I want to try and make this as manageable as possible. So please leave a comment if you found this difficult to follow or if you, or if you want me to explain anything more or if you want me to do another video on something and explain it um, kind of like in a little bit more detail. Thank you very much. I hope you guys have found this useful. Whatever your aspiration, I'm here to help you guys. I'm a musician and performer with seven years experience on the ukulele and I've just written a new ukulele curriculum. So just head on over to ukulelevagabond.com. There is a free resources for ukulele players section and consider going for a course of one-to-one -one online tuition. You can find out what I have to offer in the tuition tab and what my ukulele curriculum includes. Did I forget anything? Oh yes. All tutees get access to high quality complimentary videos to go alongside your learning so that you guys can keep learning with me even when you're not getting one-to-one -one tuition. So this isn't just about one-to-one -one tuition, this is about an immersive online ukulele experience that will get you guys learning ukulele in the shortest possible time. Can't say fairer than that, top-notch ukulele tuition with complimentary videos at a great price.